my keyboard is my best friend. And hopefully after this video, yours will be too. Because in this five minute Friday, we're gonna cover some of my favorite timeline shortcuts. Now I've got quite a lot to get through, so I'm gonna be talking quite quick in this one. Obviously you can pause at any moment and I'll make sure to include all the shortcuts in the description below. So let's get the ball rolling with a couple of classics. The first one is Control and S to save your current project. Learn this one, remember it, get into a habit of doing it and it can save you an awful lot of time if DaVinci Resolve decides to crash. The next one, Control and Z for undo. If you've made any changes to anything on your timeline, Control and Z will undo any changes you've made. If you've made any cuts, if you've resized, if you've slowed things down, Control and Z to undo. You can do this numerous times to go back numerous steps. Next one, your space bar here. Dead easy, hit space to play, hit it again to pause. Play and pause. Really nice way of just reviewing through your timeline. There's also an alternative. If you hit Alt and K, if I hit play now, now if I hit the space bar, it will not just pause, but it will go back to the point where I hit Alt and K. Now you can also do this by right clicking on the stop button and selecting or deselecting this stop and go to last position. Next we have the left and right arrow keys. We can tap them to move forwards with the right arrow key and backwards with the left arrow key one frame at a time. If we hold the arrow keys, we can play through in real time. If you need some granular control but don't want frame by frame, if we hold the shift key and use the left and right arrow keys, we can go forwards and backwards one second. Next is control and B to slice or to cut. You can move your playhead wherever you need to make a cut, control and B to slice that clip into two separate clips. Once you've sliced your clips, you probably want to delete them. Now there are two types of delete. There's a regular delete using the backspace and there's a ripple delete using the delete key. A regular delete will delete the clip from the timeline but leave the space where it is. If I undo with Control and Z to get that back, if I press delete, it will not only delete the clip from the timeline but it will also move everything to the left to fill in the space. Both have their uses, learn them both. Next we have the J, K and L keys. L will play your clip forward in real time. K will stop it and J will play it backwards in real time. If I hit L again here to play and then press it again, we'll increase the speed. Again to increase the speed, again and so on. K to stop. J works in the same way but going backwards. If I hold K, and then hold L at the same time, I can play my clip in slow motion. If I do the same thing with K and J, I can play it backwards in slow motion. As soon as I let go, the clip will stop. Next, we have the linked selection. This is with Control, Shift, and L, and it will turn on and off this icon here, which as I say, is your linked selection. Now, what this means is, if I click on this video here on my timeline, only this video will be selected and not the associated audio. With that turned on, if I click this video, both are selected. With that turned off, just one will be selected. Handy way to delete audio from a clip without actually removing the video itself. Next we have the N key for snapping, which turns this icon on and off here, which is your magnet. This one is really useful if you're trying to do granular control. So by default, when you get close to another clip, Resolve will snap it into place. Now that's fine unless you're trying to make some really finite changes. So if we turn that off with N, you can see it doesn't snap and we have much greater control over the start and finish time of that clip. If you're doing that and you need to be very accurate indeed, highlight the clip on your timeline and then you can use the comma and the full stop or the less than and the greater than symbols. You can tap these to move your selected clip on the timeline forwards or backwards by a single frame. Really nice way of making sure those cuts are super precise. 
Talking of the timeline, we can use Control and Plus to zoom in, Control and Minus to zoom out. And to resize the timeline to fit the screen, we can do Shift and Z. Last but not least, we have the M key to add markers. Now you can either add markers to the timeline as shown here, or if you highlight the clip, you can then add a marker to the clip. These can be used as a really nice way to mark out important parts of your clip, which you may need to revisit later. You can then use shift and the up and down arrow keys to scroll through all the markers on the timeline. Also, don't forget you can customize all of your keyboard shortcuts by going to DaVinci Resolve and then Keyboard Customization, or simply clicking Control, Alt, and K. And that's it, I hope that was useful. Don't get me wrong, there are loads more keyboard shortcuts out there. This is just a brief list of some of my favorites which I use very often in DaVinci Resolve. Please do give it a like if it was useful to you. Pop a comment below if you've got any questions or feedback. And if you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That's it for this week. I will see you next week for another 5 Minute Friday. Cheers, guys.